Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick video here on how to set this up with AMD graphics cards. Uh, one thing I wanna note is with my NVIDIA profiler, you'll see that I turned off my background max frame rate, and I've also turned off my max frame rate just to show you that this is working. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go find my screen, here we go. So Guru 3D. Um, if you don't frequent this site, uh, I can understand you might think this might be malicious or a weird site to go to. I've been going to this site for over 12 years. Um, they're actually one of the official Rivatuner um, sources to download from. So Rivatuner is a, uh, a known good program to use. And uh, this is something that will actually help you uh, uh, match your frame rate. Um, appropriately so when you get here I'll have this link um, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see the link down here which is download version 7.3.3 final so you click on that it'll bring you to this next page then after a few seconds it'll automatically load or you can click the button here to automatically download okay uh, once you open this you could simply extract it to your desktop or put it in a folder okay so open up this folder, uh, open up this file here, this RTSSS setup. I already have it open, so I'm gonna drag it down. All right, so we'll get rid of these. So this is what it'll look like right here. Now, at first it'll just show global. It's not gonna show this horizon loader. So obviously what comes next? You need to add the loader.exe. So um, you don't wanna make this global, when we make the frame rate limit, because if you play other games, um, you're gonna be like, WTF, why am I only playing at 60 frames on uh, Apex? Um, so make sure you create your horizon-loader.exe, which is similar to how you would create it in the NVIDIA profiler here, right? Um, so you hit add, and then just get go to your bootloader folder and select your horizon loader here. Once you add that, you'll see um, I've made this application detection level as high. Um, basically, that's looking for direct 3D uh, sync whenever you launch the game. Um, I think that this is not, there's no uh, performance issue here if you're like making the detection level too high, if there's a question on that. Um, frame rate limit, obviously this is the key component is just hitting this and typing in six zero and hitting enter. Um, down here, you can just put the FPS parameter um, statistic wherever you want in the screen. You can drag and drop it. Um, the top left is where the default one is that's built into Horizon. So you can kind of put it way over here or on the bottom, but off to the side, usually a little bit. Um, I turned my in-game Horizon one off so that you can see this populate whenever I load into the game. And then uh, one more thing I want to mention is make sure you have your two Atmos DLL files in here. If you don't know what I'm talking about right here, you need to go watch the previous video I made on installing Atmos uh, for Final Fantasy XI, which is the previous video. This is simply for getting Rivetuner set up so that you can frame lock uh, your FPS. Okay, so I'm going to launch Final Fantasy XI just to show you that this is in fact working. Okay, you'll see my numbers right here. Boom, populate to 60 right away. So, this in fact does work. Still at 60. And if you're only watching this video, then one more thing to note is to launch FPS zero from the start. You're gonna wanna go to your, uh, I don't have it open right now, do I? No, but I will show you really quick. So you go to Final Fantasy XI, Horizon XI, Game, Scripts, and then you launch this default script, okay? Once you go into this default script, you scroll down almost to the bottom here. You go to Plugin and Add-on Configurations. Um, I use Wait 5 just because it takes a little bit for the game to launch. And the this FPS 0 is the key here for launching for uh, uncapped frame rate, uh, but obviously using Rivetuner to cap your frame rate. Again, this is for AMD users specifically. If you're if you're here and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, just use the NVIDIA um, control panel and uh, cap it right here. All right.
thanks and uh again let me know if uh you have any issues uh please i need to know if there's issues because then i need to remake this video so that i'm not giving out bad information here um always just slide into my uh dms there and uh, just let me know of any problems have a great day